Hi, Intuitive D1111 here. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me. Um, woo, y'all. <laughs> Somebody wants you back, and uh, they're about to they're about to do the most. This is gonna be interesting. Okay, so. Anyways, thank you for got, you guys that participated in the July giveaway. Um, if you have, if you will look and see that, you know, for the winners, I replied back to one of your comments, okay, to let you know that you are the winner or, you know, part of the winners for those free readings. <coughs> Pardon me. The energy healing sessions, um giveaway is still ongoing and then I'm also going to start next week I'm going to start giving away one free reading every week and it's going to be a mini reading um but I'll get straight to the point it's not going to be super extensive but you know I'll sum it up for you and it's a way that you know I just want to have multiple things going um to celebrate you guys taking time to subscribe to like to comment to share to engage you know with me here on this platform um and the more likes that you know people here on youtube get as well as you know subscriptions all those things it really does help with um you know the algorithm here on youtube so that we can continue to reach more people with these messages you know to help hopefully help them to make better changes within their life yes okay so what i see here is we have the Lover's card, the Ten of Wands, the Ace of Wands reversed, Three of Cups reversed, Nine of Wands, Seven of Pentacles reversed. Somebody made a bad decision in, in leaving you guys, okay? Um, I feel like whoever they went towards, okay, for some of you, this is somebody that they were attracted to or they had a history with. For some of you guys, though, they went back to this person because this person made some type of false offer to them. Okay, for some of you guys, this person, you know, could have offered to, um, you know, like just engage in reckless activity with them. Like this person didn't care, you know, whether they were smoking their life away. They didn't care whether they were drinking their life away. You know, they didn't care if they wanted a party. Some of you, they didn't care if they were, you know, doing threesomes. For others of you, you know, this person wanted to keep this person locked in because they already had like a marriage or commitment or kids. And, you know, this person felt like they invested, this karmic third party felt like they invested too much time, love, energy into your person. Now, for others of you, though, what I'm seeing here with the three of cups, the nine of cups and the seven of coins here, I feel like for some of you, your loves could have been tricked by somebody that they are involved with. That's not you. OK, and they lost a lot of money. So th it could have been some type of investment between two thousand to three thousand dollars or for some of you anywhere from three to fifty five thousand dollars. OK, um, it could have very well involved some type of property or a home. They were expecting this karmic third party was either um, threatening or blackmailing that they were going to, uh, you know, give them hell if they gave them a divorce and, you know, mess up their, you know, take their assets and all these different things. But for some of you, their, their person was, your person was conned. It looks like this lover could have promised that they were going to, um, help grow or maximize um, this person's finances if they chose them, if they went and did some type of deal or contract or partnership or got with them as opposed to you. This person, karmic third party, told this person that you guys might not have had as much to offer. Clearly, they didn't know you. And that they were the better option for some of you. They could have, you know, sat there and said like, you know, oh, you know, this person isn't your type or, you know, this person here, you know, um, you know, they're not even allowing you to have fun or whatever the hell it is. I feel like what happened is, you know, your person made a shallow decision. OK, they either moved out of lust or they moved for monetary reasons for some of you both, okay? And they got wrapped up in some type of situation. Um, for some of you, this person was okay with them having a poly relationship. I feel like your person is realizing because it's been aggressive, okay? The third party's realizing it too, that it's not love, okay? That they pretty much, you know, lied and made an offer to your person 
acting like, okay, listen, I got what you need, you know, go ahead and leave the chosen ones, you know, go ahead and leave the one that really loves you because I, I got what you need here. Okay. Whatever it is for your person that they were, um, tempted with. And for some of you, it could have been drugs. It could have been a party and lifestyle. It could have been fast money. You know, it could have just been that they wanted to, you know, travel and drink and smoke and you pop pills or, you know, be involved in just a crazy ass lifestyle. But what I'm seeing with the Ace of Wands reverse is that they stopped taking action towards you because they were taking action towards these karmic third party energies. Okay. Um, and they had a choice to make and it looks like they chose wrong and they regret it because it looks to me like these third party situations are coming to an end. It's like, they're not celebrating. They're not even for a lot of you. It's like, they've been trying to date other people, but those situations aren't going to last either. They're going to go up and smoke. Your person is exhausted. Okay. Your person tried to persevere in a connection, but they didn't see a return on investment with that connection. So for a lot of you, your person was still dating others while dealing with this karmic third party. Okay, they were being a player towards you, could have made you feel like an option, you know, they could have, you know, hung out with you or wanted to spend time with you and everything else like that. But what they didn't tell you is that they invested a lot into another commitment. And see, for some of you, they could have even gotten married without you knowing it. They could have, you know, bought property with somebody without them telling you, um, you know, or they could have, you know, <sighs> yeah. What I'm seeing is this person is now smoking alone in a room, could be a motel room at times, a hotel room, very well, you know, this person could have been on, you know, traveled with this person, etc. This person's like, I got to figure it out because they're realizing that they made a bad decision. Okay. And for some of you, you know, they did something unlawful. So, you know, you have the popo here as well. So they're realizing that everything that was promised is not happening for some of you they could have even invested money to do spell work because sometimes the wands it, it, it symbolizes spell work and that's been intercepted by the angels no payout there okay and i feel like what happened was they got involved in these karmic third party situations and here they were treating you like an option but here they could have been over here bending over backwards for this karmic or this karmic was doing this for them okay but somebody was sleep talking okay so somebody could have listened to what someone said while they were sleeping or they very well could have been going through their phone while they were sleeping. With pregnancy new beginning here, someone could have got somebody else pregnant. Somebody could have terminated a pregnancy or had an abortion or somebody here is just not having a new beginning with this third party over here. Okay, they thought they were going to have growth, growth and, and expansion, but nope, that's not what's happening. Because uh, what I'm seeing here is someone was way too flexible, okay? This karmic would allow this person to do whatever because this karmic really didn't love this person. If they did, it was toxic, okay? Period. It was all about money. This karmic lied, making them feel like they were going to grow and expand money with them. But in reality, your person is now losing money and is now broke for some of you, okay? or they're going broke, or they're going to have to divvy up or, or sell businesses, okay? Somebody was not being honest with the way and how they were making money and is being exposed to their spouse or whoever the heck they're in contracts with. Now this person feels like their hands are tied, okay? For some of you, maybe you didn't know it, but your person could have, you know, had a mutual sexual attraction, or maybe they went both ways, or, you know, take it how it resonates for your story but I see like what's going on here is that you guys are looking out for yourselves chosen one because it looks like your person got themselves in a situation okay and now they're ready to leave that situation because they already know that it's being towered to the ground five of pentacles this is both your person and the karmic so I don't care if they're posting pictures like they in Cabo I don't care if they post in pictures on the beach. I don't give a damn if they trying to ride around in a BMW or a Jag or a Mercedes or, you know, whatever the hell, a low rider, you feel me? <laughs> With the nice ass rims. Like, I, I really don't care because it's, it's all a front. It's an act. They're having issues. They've been arguing, okay? They know that they've been left out in the cold by you. They left you out in the cold for this situation over here. And now... For some of you, they're, they're at risk of being homeless. For others of you here, you know, businesses might be closed down. 
somebody could even be facing jail time with the eight of swords i feel like this person had an ego death because see they felt like they went with somebody that looked better or had more money or was more acceptable to society or whatever the heck bull crap reason that they stuck with of why they were sticking with this other situation it's being towered because your person was hiding a mask okay any type of dark magic spell work that was done has been returned some of you they were doing something strange for some change okay and they thought that they were going to uh manifest off of your energy divine beings with this karmic over here that's what they thought they was going to do but guess what the angels came in intercepted that intercepted that spell work okay they have helped to assist you you're standing in your power now your person's like, thank God I found you because your person is realizing that you're not like these karmic third parties that they were so quick to leave you for. OK, they could have talked about your um, your finances. They could have talked about your weight, your body, all types of different things. Your person could have lied to these per people and called you crazy, you know, called you, you know, too skinny or too fat or that they weren't attracted to you and all kind of bullshit. 11, 11 on the time or somebody's damn twin flame that really chose a karmic fat path and is getting fucked. Period. That's what I see. Or someone's higher level soulmate or somebody's DM that is now turned into a karmic masculine. I don't freaking care about the titles. But what I see is that your person here, this is them and the karmic coming up out that damn tower. That they built off of everybody else's energy. Okay. For some of you, they were getting money in a legal way. They could have thought this person had more resources than you. They thought they were going to be the king or king of swords or king of pentacles and they were going to either stay or go where the money is or where they invested the money yeah that's a poor decision because now they're losing everything see what they didn't realize is that um <laughs> you guys are being spiritually protected right now for a lot of you you might feel rejected no rejection is god's protection because this whole karmic shit storm is going down OK, you guys could have been dealing about somebody that had a secret life. They were into a lot of things that were like unlawful that maybe you didn't know about. OK, you're being protected from that energy. OK, because this person could be out there manipulating people to do things against their will or they're connected with a karmic that's doing that. Yeah. Out here pollinating the planet, you're being protected against anyone trying to come in with player king of wands, knight of wands, page of wands energy. OK, no one has time for that, especially in reverse. Okay, so far we have Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sag, Libra, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius. Yeah, Pi pretty much all the signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo again, Aries, Scorpio. Okay, Sag, you guys have somebody new coming in, okay? This person is going to be a godsend. It's not going to be somebody on this energy over here, okay? Because this person, now for some of you guys, you might reconcile with this person if they haven't really done all those things that I've just said. Because, um, you know, you only take what resonates from collective readings. But your person has been holding back their emotions or communication. They're very focused on you, okay? This person really, you know, they feel like a fool, They've gone through an ego death. They could have had a bigger than life persona. And um, I feel like they're seeing the reality of that. Because with judgment and justice here, this person and the star energy, it's like somebody here wants reconciliation. They want to make amends. They want to make things right with you. Okay? That's what they want. They want to heal things with this star energy here. That's what they want to do. The question is, is whether or not they've done the inner healing themselves, because what I'm seeing here is that somebody was just too quick to, to leave you for another option. And you guys are divine beings. Yeah, for some of you, judgment's been called on this situation. They're getting karma for their actions. Some of you, they're going to jail. Okay, and you guys are just going to keep on shining like the diamond star seed, you know, stars that you guys are. Because what I'm seeing here is somebody missed the mark big time. You have a love. You had a lot of love for this person. Maybe you still do 1444 on the timer. 144,000 chosen ones here that um, 
you you gave a lot of love to this person and they decided to go with some other person for whatever reason now they're regretting it you guys have been in your bag you guys are being blessed for closing out karmic cycles or pulling back your energy okay for some of you these are new contracts new loans new homes okay new trips new vacations i'm seeing that for some of you guys you're going to be taking a vacation soon okay um you know the things that you've built you've built from love you've built with hard work you've built ethically you know you weren't after fast money like some of these people that i'm seeing in these karmic energies and these karmic readings that your people have been connected with you know you guys are going to have a new soulmate that's coming in you know you guys are in high demand right now okay maybe you guys already have children or you're going to have children with this new person and i feel like this past person is still going to be trying to watch you like a hawk online or in person or however the heck they watch you and you know they're gonna see you moving on with your life because it's like they made their bed they need to lay in it for some of you now some of you guys will reconcile with this person within this next year you might be engaged okay you might end up having children with this person if you don't have any already or if you already have some you'll end up having more children with this person because <clears throat> what I'm seeing with the Empress here that definitely is something that will most likely happen I clarified the Empress and I got I got this here. It's like your person wants to confess that they love you. Okay. They feel like they've put you through a lot with love. Okay. You guys are a warrior now. Everything that you've been through. You're trying to make mature decisions now. Okay. Maybe you guys are popular in the industry. Maybe they feel like your work schedule, your travel schedule, you know, the time that you spend on set or the time that you spend in the studio. Maybe they feel like you know, too many different people are interested in you, like your time is split up too many different places, maybe that's a problem for them. But I know one thing with the fast life and reverse fast life in reverse, y'all don't want nobody that's in that damn fast life that's gonna make them end up having to leave you because they're gonna end up in jail off some stupid shit anyways. But this person wants you back, okay? Yep, they've been watching you online, okay, they've been emotional over you. You know, but this person, for some of you, is still keeping options. They keeping options that even they options don't know about, y'all. They are not God's gift to man or woman, okay? It's like they wanted, how much do you want me in reverse? It's like some of you guys no longer want this person. You're just sitting back, looking at all the tea, listening to all the tea, and just moving on with your life. The spell work that was trying to be manifest against you is not working, OK, this person could have had multiple options in love or maybe still does or maybe you had options in love. I see you choosing yourself and waiting for the right person. OK, um, it's like holding deeds over your head in reverse. Maybe these karmic people, maybe your person, you know, maybe these karmics owed your person money or your month or your person owed these karmics money or, you know, either way, nobody's getting any money. <laughs> Nobody's getting any money, especially if spell work was attached to it. It's been intercepted. That means anything they were trying to manifest off of that money with that spell work intention is volanoid. If anything, it's putting them further in the poorhouse. It's like they neither they're already going to be forced to get rid of these different third party connections. OK, because for some of you, they took a gamble. They took a risk. This person could be gambling or they could have an addiction or they could have a gambling establish establishment. I feel like y'all are like, fuck your feelings, man, because that's what you said to us. You know what I'm saying? Chosen ones. It's like you were a whole empress and they want or emperor and they wanted to sit there and treat you like you were not up to par. You know, you know how many people like people that work in cars or car sales, they'll tell you, you know, it's not always the people that come in flashy to the car lot that have the money to spend on the vehicle. You know, a lot of people that have a lot of money, they're OK just uh, being who they are and being humble, you know. They don't have they don't have to broadcast everything that they have. It looks like someone chose a copycat off of you. That's who they chose. They chose a doppelganger, a person that's tried to act like you, be like you, okay? Try to be into what you're into. And they conjure person. They're not even being real with themselves. They don't have any divine energy. They have karmic energy. They are the empress or emperor in reverse. That's why there's no growth and expansion long term in their life. Because for some of you, there are parts of cults and covens. So you already know what's going to happen with them. The Bible's very clear. Gnashing of teeth. Fire. 
Okay, take it literally if you want to, or you can take it figuratively of what is happening with their lives or about to happen. You know, you don't just mess with chosen ones and get away with it. You know, it's like these people really broke you guys' heart and, you know, the divine sees everything. The angels of light see everything. They go to and fro throughout the earth. <sighs> yeah, so I see that you, uh, you guys have other options. Somebody's going to be communicating with you soon. Someone might be trying to uh, communicate with you or come back and communicate with you because they want money. Okay, they feel like you're established. They want your affection back because the people around them weren't offering no love. But for some of you guys, I see you walking away from this person because this person left you for somebody else or went back to somebody else. Okay, the love that was meant to be for you, okay, it's like they gave it and rejected it or they didn't accept your love. They rejected it. They rejected God's gift. I kid you not because they were given into this temptation to this devil energy. Okay, now some of them can't breathe at night. They're being haunted. They're seeing spirits, okay? The very spirits and spell work that... This very spell work that brought negative demonic spirits out to tr that they tried to have uh, summoned towards you or summoned to help manifest their money in um, an evil way are haunting them. Yep, I don't see you guys taking any advancements from anybody that is uh, not communicating with you, not being honest with you, is narcissistic or selfish or only thinking about their wand. You guys have celebrations coming in, okay? Some of you guys have new properties coming in, okay? Yeah, new homes for some of you. Or you're selling a home, you're going to buy another property, or maybe you just relocated. You guys have victory and success here. Yep. And your person, you know, they're going to be thinking about how much they love you, but they need to be single, single, <laughs> okay? Before they come to try to collaborate with you, okay? And the thir damn third party or karmic groups or whoever that they chose over you are going to be watching from the sidelines. But it's like, listen, you know, your person underestimated you. You had more than enough. Just because you have something you don't tell somebody doesn't mean you don't have it. And even if you didn't, maybe you were struggling trying to get yourself together. How dare you, a person that shallow to choose somebody else over you for ridiculous means, have the audacity to think they can come back and even get a shot in hell with you. You know what I'm saying? So it's up to you, okay? Because I understand how it is when you love somebody, so it's up to y'all. Um, and I'll be back with those channeled messages that I have over there. So yeah, you guys have some great things that you're abundant, um, that you're bringing in. Some of you is education, it's money, it's new homes, you know, whatever it is, you know, it's a new loving connection, a new partnership with some of you guys. So yeah, put me some hearts down below, some houses, some money bags, you know, some books, if you're studying, whatever it is, uh, cause it's coming in for you guys. Love you. Namaste.